of Vermont's going to do well with this storm, 6, 12 inches wow. of snowfall. And some of the higher elevations you get into central and northern New Hampshire will get some accumulating snow too. But for us, any snow that we pick up is going to be minimal, little to no accumulation for most. Let's take a look at the conditions right now in Newport. It is a little bit icy in a few spots this morning. Going to want to watch for those patches of black ice and you want to make sure you give yourself a little time to scrape some frost off the car windshield. Some heavy frost and fog in New Bedford, Plymouth and Hyannis where visibility is still down below a mile. And a little touch of that fog along the East Bay, Newport, you're at 30 degrees. These temperatures all below freezing. So fog and 26 degrees can make for an icy start. Smithfield's at 26 as well. Our threat tracker, you know, we get through that little touch of uh, black ice this morning. Rest of the day looks a lot like yesterday. A pleasant afternoon, highs in the lower 50s. On Saturday, we've got rain, gusty winds, ending in some snow showers, a stormy weather day for us. Lots of details to get to on that. Some of those strong winds will last into Sunday morning. Still the potential for some gusts over 40 miles per hour in the morning, but they'll start to diminish in the afternoon. It'll be unseasonably chilly first day of daylight savings. Looking at our live radar this morning, all dry locally, but let me show you what we're tracking. We've got a cold front to the west of us over the Chicago area and gathering thunderstorms in the Gulf of Mexico, which will help to develop into our next storm system. That low going to move right over eastern New England tomorrow and then racing up into the Gulf of Maine. So for our area, and bring a mostly rainfall. Looking at the forecast for today, those icy spots early on, otherwise a Big jump in temperatures, one in the afternoon, lower 50s, five this evening, around 47 degrees. We're going to cool into the upper 30s early in the night, but the temperatures will actually rise as the night goes on. So by the time the rain moves in, we're in the 40s and showers are expected, rain showers on Saturday morning. This is this morning, a mix of sun and clouds expected through the day today. Dry conditions, though, that'll hold on into the early part of the night and then it's after midnight. We start to see some of those lighter rain showers pushing in and by tomorrow morning turns into an all out soaking rain for us. And you can see by tomorrow morning some of that snow spreading into western and northern New England. So just rain for the bulk of this will pick up about an inch of rain by one or two in the afternoon. So falling heavy through the morning and midday hours. Then as the storm starts to pull away, we change over to some wet snow showers from west to east, and that happens two, three o'clock in the afternoon through about five or six in the evening before it tapers off. As far as any accumulations go, we'll talk about that, but notice these temperatures. We briefly hit near 50 late morning tomorrow, and then in the afternoon, the temperatures fall. So three o'clock as we're switching to snow, we're in the upper 30s, dropping to the lower and middle 30s by early evening. So little to no accumulation for the majority of the area could end up with a coating to an inch of snow north and west of Providence. Higher elevations through northern Connecticut, up through Springfield area, and the Berkshires could end up with several inches of snow. Here's a look at rainfall. And we'll up and up near an inch in Newport, New Bedford, and close to that in the Providence area as well. Peak wind gusts uh, later Saturday and into Sunday morning could get a few gusts over 50 along the coastline. Most, most of us look to be in that range of 35 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts not out of the question we end up in a wind advisory for part of the weekend again most prone to that would be the coastline so near 50 for tomorrow but early on in the day windy and cold on sunday highs only in the upper 30s back to near 50 on monday tuesday extra clouds mid 50s next chance for showers next week maybe as late as later thursday